Here with the bright yellow helmet rocking the KTM EXC350 is George. This is Ben, red and black helmet sporting the Beta 450 RS. And here is Perry, white helmet, busted ribs, giving a wee flog to a brand new Husqvarna FE450. These three adventurous souls were the intrepid pioneers who dared come out on the first ever Shred Weekender rally. Now going back a ways, I had a big problem. See, riders come with all kinds of different riding goals and preferences. Some guys prioritize speed and technicality on high-powered, lightweight dirt bikes. Other guys wanted to see beautiful landscapes and would drive half the country on a fully loaded 450 plus pound adventure machine. Other riders would arrive and exclaim that this would be their first time venturing into anything beyond a dirt road and they just wanted to learn the basics. I did the best I could to find trails that suited the diverse riding goals of the people who came out, but even though I got good feedback about the rides, I still felt that riders with different goals and abilities could have a better experience if the rides were more specialized. So I split up the rallies by riding goals. Scenic rallies were designated for bikes of all sizes and riders of all abilities on rides that put the focus on the gorgeous landscapes and vistas around southwest Utah. Schooling rallies are designed to help new riders build confidence in their motorcycles and in themselves by testing themselves with simple drills and putting those new skills to practice on the beautiful real world trails down here. Then there's the shred rally where the goal is pretty ambiguous, to shred. And that's why when the weekend of the first shred rally approached, I was pretty nervous. What if a rider showed up who was a little overconfident with their abilities and slowed the group down, limited the trails that we could take, or worse still, what if that rider was me? And when George, Perry, and Ben showed up with a KTM 350XC, a brand new Husqvarna FE450, and a Beta 450RS in the back of their trucks, my anxiety wasn't exactly alleviated. Before we go more into details about the riders, here's a little preview. Shredding was done in good form. The pace was brisk but not grueling, far from the endurance race that I'd feared. But we still got into some pretty glorious trails, and by the second day, I didn't hesitate at all to take these guys through some pretty gnarly stuff. So you've seen them ride, but I'm trying to do a better job of showing the behind the scenes footage of these rallies. So let's get to know these riders a little bit more. And I'll be honest, it was a breath of fresh air to ride with three guys who were about my age, in the mid 30s, when I was born. <laughs> no cheeses. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the crew for the first shred. My name is Ben Dawson, I'm 70, dentist, retired four years ago. That's a Beta 450 RS. Everybody just called me PK, I'm a pastor, 58 and 58. I ride the Epi Husky uh, 450. George Evans. I'm 68, a retired railroad engineer, and I ride a ratty old KTM 350 EXE. So be honest, were you a little bit surprised to meet those guys? I'll admit that I was. I mean, this was a shred ride with warnings and waivers, and this is going to be difficult terrain and you could die, written all over them in bold red ink. 
and a 70-year-old retired dentist on a Beta 450 RS, a 68-year-old retired railroad engineer on a KTM EXE 350, and a 58-year-old retired pastor on a Husqvarna FE 450 pull-up. Well, having ridden with some fairly seasoned gentlemen in the past, I already knew that age didn't exactly correlate with riding ability. Now I could go on, like I have in the past, with idioms about books and their covers, but you get the idea. The recipe of excellent writing, gorgeous scenery, fantastic food, a hot tub and a massage chair do wonders to bring like-minded writers together and create lasting friendships, regardless of age, religion, gender, race, or anything else. Honestly, aside from Perry's rib mashing crash and a bit of dust, I couldn't have envisioned a better precedent for the shred rides. The pace meant we made good time, but nobody was riding out of control to keep up. The scenery, exclusive to the more difficult trails, was fantastic. And the shred aspect of it, well, by the end of the rides we were tired, sweaty, sore, and grinning from ear to ear. Mission accomplished. As you can see, shred rallies out here aren't grueling death slogs or dust choking full throttle enduro races. It's technical desert trail riding at its finest. If you'd like to attend a Shred Weekender Rally and George it up a few hill climbs, or take it easy on a scenic Weekender Rally, or build skills and confidence on a schooling rally, check out EverRideADV.com, or visit the link in the description for dates of film tours here in the beautiful badlands of Southwest Utah. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and a huge thanks to the producers, contributors, patrons, and friends who pitch in a little bit each month to support the creation of this free content. It's no surprise that videos like this take a lot of time and some pretty expensive equipment to produce, and without the contributions this channel would not exist, so seriously thank you so much, and much love, Everide out. <laughs>